Nikon Z30 Review The Z30 is Nikon's take on the video-first mirrorless camera for content creators, vloggers, and YouTubers. It competes directly with the Sony ZV-N, as both include quality built-in mics, articulating displays, and support swappable lenses. Nikon's take works with its Z-mount lens system, records video at up to 4K30, and doubles as a capable photo camera. But it doesn't have as many sensible lens options as you get with Sony E-mount. In the end, it's a capable vlog camera, with some of the same limitations as others in its class. The Z30's EVF free body harkens back to the early days of mirrorless, before built-in viewfinders were entry-level standard. The camera measures 2.9 by 5.0 by 2.3 inches and weighs 12.3 ounces without a lens. In recent years, this form factor has become the de facto standard for LCS marketed vloggers. The Sony ZV and is smaller, but otherwise remarkably similar. Without a viewfinder, the camera sports a flat top, one that houses a stereo mic for much clearer audio, as well as a hot shoe to mount an external mic if you want, or attach a flash. The Z30 does not include an onboard flash. The Z30 uses the same lenses as full-frame Nikon Z models, even though it has a smaller APS-C format image sensor. Nikon makes a handful of lenses for the DX format, including the aforementioned 16 50 and 5200 50 there's also a Nikkor DX18 100 Fordham zoom available now, and a DX12 28 power zoom on the company's lens roadmap. The latter is of special interest to video creators working without a film crew, especially those who record in a present-to-camera style. We don't know when the 12 28 will come out or how much it will cost. Sony prices its similar wide zoom. The Z30 is a little bit bigger than its closest competitor, the ZVN. But that's not a bad thing. Nikon puts a deeper hand grip in its camera, and a slightly wider body leaves more room for your fingers. The Z30 is just a little bit more comfortable to handhold than the ZV and how much it matters to you depends on your creative style both are equally adroit in the hand when paired with a tripod grip. And we expect many creators to use the Z30 with a tripod or gimbal.